Hey, what's going on, guys? Thrash back here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another episode of Hut Warriors. In case you don't know, in case you missed what happened, we have a new number one center on the team. I am shocked that this happened. Um, I'll let you know that we opened up a 75k pack. That's why I have no coins left. We opened up a 75k pack, and there he is. The new number one center on our team, 98 Marco Rossi. 75k pack. Um, yeah, we got really damn lucky. <laughs> we got really lucky and picked up Marco Rossi. We also have, in that same pack, 88 Madison Bowie. So, like, yeah, we're looking pretty good. The team has definitely improved. So, let's go ahead and get into a game. Um, see how we do here. But, damn, am I excited to play with these uh, these players here in uh, Divisions. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. We're also two collectibles away. Two collectibles away from doing the set so, uh, after today, if we are able to get all these players, um, if we're able to open up both of these, that's 40 players we can trade in. We might be able to get enough players for a, uh, a collectible or two, and we might be able to do that set today. Uh, but we have to play well. We have to score at least eight or more goals, or get a couple rage quits to get these packs. Otherwise, if we win the games, we just get these regular prime packs. But to start off the episode, like every other episode, we're going to open up a silver reroll and see what we get. We have a chance. We could get something big. And instead, we're going to get Jacob De La Rose and Peter Mueller. All right. Well, that's great. Let's go ahead, guys. Get into a game. See how we do. And hopefully, pick up the rage quit. Pick up eight or more goals. Let's go ahead and get these players. Get these collectibles going. I I just, I really just want this team to be ready to go. Um, if we can get ourselves hypothetical. Purely hypothetical, but could you imagine we just got Marco Rossi? Could you imagine we also added, say, Quentin Byfield, Alexis Lafreniere, Jamie Drysdale, any of these players? Could you imagine? Oh my god, we'd be set. Oh, my. hey, I'm just saying, another Zadina, we upgrade our Zadina. Wouldn't be bad either. Let's go ahead and get into game number one, see how we do, and hopefully pick up the W. We are 3 0 here in Division 4. One more point, and we're stuck here. Alright, guys, let's go. He's got Stahl as his number one. Eric Stahl. He's got Theo Fleury. Uh, Hein. Those could be Team of the Season cards. His defenseman, but I'm not totally sure. I'm honestly not sure on some of these names. Uh, obviously, that's Eric Stahl. Um, Theo Fleury, Jonathan Huberdeau. These could be like really, really good cards. They could be base cards. I honestly have no clue. But the uh, defensemen are making me nervous that they might be Team of the Season cards. So let's see how we can do. He's got Pekka, Rene, and Net. Let's go. Uh, hopefully, get a W here. Pajot, Zadina, backhand, who needs an upgrade on Zadina? Absolutely love his card. He makes it 1-0 on the backhand there. Let's go. Uh, again, we're looking for 8 or more goals or a shutout here today to make sure that we get ourselves that uh, Jumbo NHL Players Pack, whatever the hell it's called. Um, we haven't had any luck in them yet, but today could be the day. Dev up to Kucherov. Uh-oh, he gets in. Tried to check him off the puck. Couldn't Gusev with a shot. That gets blocked. And here we go the other way. Stamkos up to Robitaille. Yep. Robitaille is in. A little one-handed tuck. And it's a 2-0 game here in the first period. Uh, he did get it into our zone. That absolutely happened. We then took it the other way and scored. Uh, Luke Robitaille gets the goal. We're up 2-0. And I really like the way we're playing. Uh, here's hoping that we can get uh, max rewards for sure. Vrana up. Vrana in. Over to Solani. He can't bury that. Oh, no. It was Theo Fleury. Could be a 99. We don't know. We really don't know at this point what overall cards these, uh, these this guy has. These guys have. This player has. This guy has. Oh, what a steal. Solani and Verona hesitates to put it in the back of the net. Okay. Well, that's a shame. And here comes Huberto. Uh-oh. Good D play. Flurry. Oh. Solani. Oh, he couldn't steal the puck. Good save by Tuca. Alright, 10 seconds. Okay, Lindell loses the puck, actually. Not good. Big save by Tuca. Just, uh, yeah, just play the puck. We'll end off the period. I wanted to get one more chance, but clearly not going to happen. So we'll take a 2-0 lead into the second period here. We're playing very, very well. Uh, as you can see in the stats, he has four shots. We have 17. So definitely outplaying this guy. Let's take a look at his squad. Uh, could be a very bad team. Ah, Pavelski. Nice. Okay, so he does have the 99 Flurry. 88. Okay, so he has some good players. He definitely has some good players. 
um, but definitely not some insane team. So uh, we should be able to handle him. He does have a couple base cards, as do we. So we should be able to handle him. Let's go ahead and uh, see how we do here in the second period. Go, Pajot. Oh, my. Pajot is flying. And he's got Zidane Chara jumping up in the play to bang it home, making it 3 nothing. The 9-foot giant up in a play, scoring a goal. You love to see it. Oh, that's the rage quit. Let's go. That's a guaranteed Jumbo NHL Players Pack. There's so many good cards available. That is the Rage Quit here in the second period. Let's go. I didn't, uh... I mean, we were he heavily outplaying him. Do not get me wrong. We were heavily outplaying him. But I didn't expect him to quit. Um, it was only 3 nothing. It's not like it was some outstanding score or anything like that. That does secure Division 4 for us. And, uh, there we go. I mean, obviously nobody had a hat trick or, or four points or anything. But we do get the shutout and we do get ourselves the Jumbo NHL Players Pack for the Rage Quit. Alright guys, and like I said, there's a lot of really good cards available. We have Marner, Yossi. Look, anyone on this page? Anyone on that page? Anyone on this page? P potentially. Potentially. Makes a team. And then, uh, any one of those guys, and any one of those guys, and there's so many cards available for us to pull. We do technically get the shutout with the Rage Quit at 3-0, so we'll open up the Premium 2 Gold Player Pack. We get a guaranteed 80. We can make it a 90. Maybe even better. We get Alexandra Fortin and JT Miller. Not going to make the team, unfortunately. That's all right. Let's go ahead and open up our Jumbo NHL Players Pack. We've opened, what, six of these so far and gotten absolutely nothing. So EA, I think we're due. Now, we did just pull a 98 Rossi and 88 Bowie in the same pack. I get it. But I think we're due for something in one of these packs. So hook us up. Started off with... Mark Edward Vlasic, good to see ya. Got Mika Zabinijad, where are my Ranger fans at? Getzlav, good to see ya. Philip Forsberg, 83, new high card. Um, yeah, this is about right. This is how the packs have usually looked for us. Athanasiu has a uh, 90 overall card out right now. Lundqvist has a 99 card overall. 99 card overall. 99 overall card. This pack is so bad, it's making me fumble over my words. All right, great. That is is seven of these packs with zero players added to the team. All right, guys, we're going to build a gold collectible with a chance in the NHL draft player item here. So we're getting rid of 50 players. 50 NHL players are gone. But we get a gold collectible, which moves us one step closer to doing the set. And we get a chance at a uh, awards player, which, let's be real, probably not going to happen. But we'll see if we can get lucky here. Gold collectible and a chance at an NHL draft player item. Let's do it. We're guaranteed the gold collectible, which is huge, but the extra player in Teddy Blueser, that's huge, man. That's huge. Great addition. Okay, so we get unlucky. That's okay. We do get that gold collectible. We need one more gold collectible, and then we can do that set. If we get uh, that uh, Jumbo NHL player pack, we might have enough to get it done. All right, guys, here we go. Game number two. Uh, looks like Kucherov, McKinnon. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way of knowing what overall these guys are here. Uh, he's got Shabbat. Which could be a bad sign, could be a good sign. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Good start, though. That's for sure. Pajot makes it one. No we apparently have two shots. Don't quit. Is that the fastest game in Hut Warrior history? That might be the fastest game in Hut Warrior history. All right, well, <laughs> we get the rage quit. I don't I don't really have words for what just happened, but that's okay. Um, I do want to look at his team. It could have just been he's seen Pajot, and yeah, it was base Malkin, base. So we had a base team. Makes sense, I guess, but dang, did not expect that that quickly. We win one nothing here, um, 43 seconds into the first. So let's go open up our second Jumbo Initial Players Pack. Yeah! That's just, that's just a weird... <laughs> That is a weird, uh, a weird game there. All right, I don't have, I don't even have time to do a reroll right now. Nor did I really want to do a reroll right now. I want to save the players, uh, because we want to do the set. So we'll open up this pack first, see if we have enough players for the set, and then we can uh, do the set. So let's go, Jumbo NHL Player Pack. Come on, game. Let's go. Get excited, Chris Kreider. Am I excited for Kreider? I'm absolutely not excited for Kreider. Okay. Yep, we're we're almost halfway through this pack. We're at an 81 high. That's 
Reward us for doing well. Come on. Heishkinen, good to see you. Truba, what's up? A lot of Rangers today. I'm a lot, like I said, a lot of Rangers today. But not a single card to add to the team. And it's just, why do we grind rivals for nothing? 82 high. Disgusting, man. Disgusting. All right, guys. Moment of truth. We need one gold collectible. We just got 20 gold players from doing that pack. So do we have enough to do it? We do not. No. We do not have enough players. We just barely fall short of getting uh, 50 players there. We can trade in Subban. We're not using him anymore. But 14 players. We only have 3,500 coins. It's not looking good here, guys. It's not looking good. I'm sorry. I would love to be able to do the set here today. We can open up these packs here, I guess. We won't add anyone to the team, but we're guaranteed six players out of the two. We'll open them up. Why not? Let's go. Let's do what we can here to try to get close. We have one, two, three, four. Okay, it's helping. I want to do this set. I want to do this set. Prime pack. Let's go. Open it up. Give me another four. Give me another five. Give me 20. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Six, seven. Wait a minute. Okay, so we're three players away. We have coin. Guys, we're going to do the set right now. I don't even care. We're doing the set right now. Let's get it done. What's, uh, what are they selling for? Can we get them for 700? No. 21. Okay, yeah, we can get them for 800. We're, we're golden. Let's try 750. Save ourselves a little bit. Nope. All right, 800. 2,400 coins gone. A potential 99 player getting added right now. We're doing this. Um, normally, I don't play, buy players off the market, but... I mean, it's three gold players that we're trading in for a set. That's fine. We're not spending any money on this account. We're not doing anything like that. We're literally just doing sets, getting players. This is good enough for me. Now, we could wait and get two more collectibles and get the guaranteed 99. That's boring. Nobody wants to see that. People want to see chances. People want to see us pull Lafreniere. Let's be real. So, these are the players we have a chance of. We can get Lafreniere. We can get Rossi, but we don't have to choose him. We have a choice of one of three. Uh, Byfield, Drysdale, Dawes, Doc, Zadina. There's so many good players here, guys. So many good players. <sighs> we got a gold collectible. Man. This is huge. This is huge for the team. This is massive. We're working our way through Division 4. We just added a 98. And now we're going to add a potential 99. It, it might not end up being 99. It might end up being 92. I think 93 is the worst we can get. But still, guys, we're, I'm just so excited. I, I don't even, I don't even have words. I'm so excited to get this player on our team. Come on, game. Let's go. <sighs> Card number one, Kirby Doc, and that right away is a W. Kirby Doc is a great, great card. That's massive. Card number two, Tobias Bjorn, for, for, I think they told me how to say it, it's barefoot in English. We're not going to take Barefoot, even though we do need some help on the left side. We're not going to take him. Kirby Doc, much better option. And he's tradable? Are they tradable? Do we... S mm. Last card is Lindstrom. So we will take Kirby Doc. Um, now the question is, do we add him to the team or do we sell him? So that way we can open more packs and do more episodes quicker. I didn't know they were tradable. That changes things. Guys, for now, I'm going to put my controller down, and I'm going to end this episode off with a question that I need you guys to answer. Kirby Doc, 95 overall. We just added Marco Rossi to the team. Kirby Doc. Do we keep Kirby Doc? Do we put him on the team as well, or do we sell this card, get rid of it, move on from it, get the coins, so that way in the future, we have coins for packs. We can make more episodes, get the series out a little bit quicker to you guys but we won't have Kirby Doc. You guys let me know down below what you want to see. Thank you so much for watching, guys. A couple quick games today. I'm sorry for that, but we do get a massive, massive player in Kirby Doc. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.